Red. Blue. Uh, hmm. Colors. All different colors. And just like you, I hate every single f***ing one of them. But if you want your models to show up all nice and stuff on a tabletop, you're gonna have to use colors because paint is just colors, but in liquid form instead of solid. Luckily for you, you don't have to be a scientist like me in order to understand colors. So let's get started. Oh. Hue is just another name for color. Basically, it's the purest pigment of any color without black or white being added. Take a look at this color slider in Photoshop. Using the H selector allows you to choose a pure hue. If you thought that explanation got a little too sciencey, then you're not gonna like what's coming next. Value is how dark or light a color is. If you put a bottle of red paint next to a bottle of yellow paint, the red paint has a much lower value because its pigment is much darker than yellow. An easy way to check this is to look at these colors through a black and white filter using your phone or Photoshop. Of all the different colors though, black and white are the worst. First of all, they're not really colors, but they are paints, which is really annoying. You can add them to real colors and then make up new colors, but not really. Tint is when you take a hue and add white to it, whereas shade is when you take a hue and add black to it. You generally don't want to add both black and white to a color because it will make your colors very muted and muddy and just generally looking. In fact, anytime you're adding black or white to create tints and shades, you're compromising the purity of your original hue. So now that you barely understand all of these terms, how can you apply that to your color choices? If you remember in our Level Up Your Wings video, I was able to swap out some of my blue palette colors with hues from another family, but with a similar value. This helped bring my wings to life with the right values in the right places. Another way to apply this knowledge is to change an entire color scheme. Did you see a cool demo of how to paint fire, but you want to change the flame to a totally different color? Take a screenshot of the effect you want, apply a black and white filter, and use this to gauge which other colors you should use instead. Well, there you have it. Now you understand colors almost as much as me, a scientist.